So you've probably been hearing a lot about Top Gun Maverick and how it's adrenaline this and action packed that and Tom Cruise is so cool and jets and explosions. And it's all true. I mean, the movie is awesome. We reviewed it on Popcorn Culture. So go look up that podcast on the BFM 89.9 app. Now, we are huge fans of practical effects on the show and the one big thing about Top Gun Maverick is that all the scenes you see with the fighter jets, of the fighter jets and of the actors inside the fighter jets are completely real. They are really, really inside the plane, even during those insane aerobatics. And when you see the effects of the G-Force on their faces, those are also real and they probably wanted to pass out or throw up or who knows. Here comes some Gs. There's five Gs. No CGI, no green screen. So the big question is, how did they do that? So according to IGN, Tom Cruise himself designed a three-month training course for all the actors to get used to that feeling of being inside a fighter jet. And the actors also had to learn about cameras and cinematography because they were one of two people in the fighter jet. I mean, there was no room for anyone else. So the actors would fly off with the pilot, shoot scenes from inside the cockpit themselves, come back, review the footage, and then fly off again to get more scenes. Now here's something else. The movie needed to find F-14 fighter jets for nostalgia and there are no more functioning F-14s in the US. The production designer Jeremy Hindle finally found one in the San Diego Air and Space Museum and he had to dismantle it completely, ship it 500 miles away to where they were filming and then reassemble the F-14 again. Now that's not to say the movie doesn't use some advanced technology to achieve what it wants. Like for Val Kilmer who plays Iceman, he lost his voice a few years ago so the filmmakers used artificial intelligence to recreate his voice digitally. I mean of course there are many scenes in the movie that use pure VFX or CGI especially when and they are explosions and dogfights and stuff. It's just really hard to tell what's real and what's not, and that makes it a lot more fun. There's really so much to love about this movie, you know? Does it use nostalgia to tell a familiar cyclical story? Sure. Is it silly? Yeah. Does it always make sense? Nope. But in terms of big budget blockbuster action movies and action sequences, it's way up there. So, have you seen Top Gun Maverick? I think it's way better than the original, you know? How about you? Comment, let us know.